Hello, art students. Today, we are going to make frames that have symmetry. We're going to be using these glue. We are going to be using different types of popsicle sticks, and you don't have to use those if you don't want to, but they're there for you. And at each table, there's a bin of shapes. And you'll see all different kinds of shapes. I want you to try to be as kind as you can when you're sharing the shapes with the people at your table. So can everyone say symmetry? Symmetry is when something is the same on both sides. So just look at this butterfly on one side is the same as the other side. It has symmetry. Let's take a look at these shapes. The rectangles are, have symmetry. The triangles, what about the square? What would I have to put on the other side to have symmetry? What about the heart? So when we are making our frames, we are also going to have symmetry. So when you're going ahead and you're deciding on what shapes you want to use, you want to think, how can I have symmetry in my art? So if you put one popsicle on one side, you got to put another one on the other side. Also, see how that heart's inside the rectangle? We don't want to put anything inside the rectangle. It's okay if it goes over the rectangle a little bit, your shapes, but we want to try to keep our shapes on the outside of the rectangle because that's where our frame is going to be. So if I put a heart on this side, I got to put it on that side too to have symmetry. Look at this square on its side. What shape does that make? Yeah, it makes a diamond. So if I have diamonds on the one side, then I have to also put diamonds on the other side. And you're gonna go on and you're just gonna continue deciding on what shapes you wanna put where. If you, can if you change your mind about something, you can move it because we're not gluing anything down yet. We're just planning how we are gonna make our designs and we are sharing our shapes. There. So now I'm going ready to glue. I have all my design and so now I'm gonna take each shape piece by piece and I'm gonna carefully put glue and then place it down where it goes, making sure that I still have symmetry. Can everyone say symmetry? And as I'm gluing down, I might forget what I've already glued. That's okay. If you accidentally pick something up, just put it back down. Remember, the glue has to dry in order for it to stay still. Now, if you're wondering where we're going with this project, next class, you're gonna get some letters all the letters in the alphabet, each one of us is gonna have one of the letters. And we are gonna take those letters. And well, actually, why don't you just watch and see what we're gonna do with these letters.
Isn't that cool? That's called printmaking. And then we're going to go outside and we are going to find all this nature and we're going to place it down on our prints that we make. And I'll talk to you a lot more about the printmaking later. And then once we have our designs the way we want them to be, Mrs. Bellis will help you photograph them and take pictures. And then we can play with them on the phone and create our artwork.